Hi friends, my name is Atul and I welcome you all in my new video on cutting fluids. I want to tell you guys before the start of this video, I have taken the content of this video from the standard textbooks and with my knowledge from the industry. I came across this in uh, my working company and I was investigating on the coolant what are the properties of the coolant and how we can improve the coolant then i was searching on the internet then i didn't found any useful data on the internet that will quickly uh, revise my knowledge on the cutting fluid so here i am whatever i learned that i am presenting to you people so what all are the requirement in metal cutting actually do you aware of that the first thing when you have got the drawing and all those things what we will see choosing about the cutting parameters in the cutting parameters depth of cut speed and feed okay then that after that we also required the work holding devices like fixture jigs and checks and collets okay apart from these two we required the environment in which environment you are going to cut it like uh, what lubricant you are going to use or what coolant fluid you are going to use how much supply of the oxygen in the cutting zone and at what temperature is, is it hot working or the cold working or the cryogenic machining like that also you need to see and after getting all those three you will get the a good finished part so what is cutting fluid exactly Cutting fluid is nothing but you can see in this image actually it's like uh, coolant okay that coolant only we are calling it is a, as a cutting fluid if you're going by the definition cutting fluid sometimes referred to as a lubricant or a coolant or a liquid and gases applied to the tool and the workpiece to assist in the cutting operation so in this video what are all the things we are going to study the first one will study the purpose of the cutting fluid then properties of the cutting fluid then selection of the cutting fluids and the type of cutting fluids okay and then there will be a theory of the cutting fluid what theory exactly and how the cutting fluid is applied in the cutting zone or in cutting action all those things are going to study in the coming video the first thing is what is the purpose of the cutting fluids the first thing in mind it will come as the, to reduce the temperature of the cutting zone that is tool and the workpiece for if you're going to study the tool alone okay so if you're cooling the tool what happens it prevents the metallurgical damages of the tool because of that high temperature if you're cooling the tool using the correct coolant also if you are using the correct lubricants then it will decrease the friction between the tool workpiece and tool chip interface that is reducing the power and heat generation and increasing the tool life and the surface finish if you are going to study with regards to the workpiece then if you are cooling the workpiece what happens it prevents the distortion of the workpiece due to the thermal expansion also it improves the surface finish because it may act as a lubricant and there will be not a friction so there will not rubbing action so it is increasing the surface finish also also to protect the finished surface from the corrosion also to assist in chip breakup into small parts you may see in, or in industry under jet or over jet coolant supplies applied that is only for to get a good access and get fine chip break to wash the chips away from the tool if you are producing the continuous type of chips then it will form a square around the tool if you are producing or if you are providing a cutting fluid with very high pressure then it will wash away the chips from the cutting zone okay 
preventing any damage to the tool and the workpiece also if you can going to drill a deep hole in the workpiece then it is nearly impossible to drill a hole without a through coolant in that because of high pressure of the coolant the chips will come out easily okay and that is one of the requirement for the deep hole drilling so next what are the properties of the cutting fluid first if you are going to use it is a, it as a coolant or for cooling purpose it should have high specific heat thermal conductivity and good film coefficient for the heat transfer also it should have a good spreading and wetting ability if you are going to use that as a lubricant in or in case of lubrication it should have high lubricity without gumming and foaming also it should have wetting and spreading that is the same thing like this it should have a good high film or boiling point and also it should have a friction reduction at extreme pressure and temperature good friction reduction the next one comes it should be a chemically stable and non corrosive it should be a less volatile and have a high flash point if our flash point of the coolant is below suppose 300 and our uh, temperature generated is about the 500 then there will be chance to get flash away our coolant and there is a danger of the fire so that's why it should have high flash point it is it should have high resistance to bacterial growth and that is health and safety wise it should be odorless and also preferably a colorless is and it should be a non toxic in both forms that is liquid and gaseous stage and easily available and low cost okay these are the properties required of any cutting fluid selection of cutting fluids how you are going to select the cutting fluids the selection of the cutting fluid depends upon the following factors first the type of operation is it the drilling face milling or deep hole drilling or gro deep grooving or face turning like that the rate of metal removal okay are you going to do any roughing operation or any finishing operation okay that much of the chips it has to remove from the cutting zone alternately material work piece if it is a cast iron then it is having different uh, criteria for selecting the cutting fluid if it is aluminum it is the different you may be seen in uh, actual machining you will be selecting for aluminum uh, like kerosene type of oil okay what is tool material the same way is applied here as we are discussed in the material for the work piece and what surface finish is required accordingly we will going to choose our lubricating properties of the cutting fluid and what cost it is actually it should be a low cost okay so what are the types of cutting fluids are available in the market first everyone will try to use with the water mostly alone water is not preferable because you may be aware of that water causes the corrosion and that is not preferable so mostly water with any type of alkali salt or oil is used the second one is the soluble oil that is of emulsion of oil with the water water will be of around 80% very good lubricant from the oil and very good uh, cooling property from the water okay straight oils some points we will be going to use the straight oils straight oils means we are not going to mix it with any uh, different uh, chemicals or water 
okay like uh, in case of aluminum machining we will be using the kerosene or low viscosity directly or any kind of petroleum fractions or direct vegetables oil you are going to use that we call it as straight oils mixed oils depending upon the what property you need from the uh, cutting fluids then we will select the proportion of the oils and we will mix it up and we will get the very good result from that cutting fluid the fifth one is the chemical additives oil okay in that we will select one oil and in that we will be adding some chemicals like sulfur or chlorine sulfur and chlorine are mostly used in the industry but i will tell you when and what to use and where to use sulfur mostly used in machining a tub stringy low carbon steels and chlorine is used for promoting anti weld characteristics so when i was working in industry i found that for my case this additives is very good and we are using this one now so next one is the theory of the cutting fluid what theory is applied in the cutting fluid the basic function of an effective cutting fluid is to reduce the kinetic coefficient of the friction between the tool and the chip and also between the tool and the workpiece here i have mentioned only chip and the tool interface this theory is proposed by dr merchant and explain this said there will be a capillary action between the tool chip interface at the high velocity and high pressure between the chip and the tool there will be small micro capillary action between them and because of that capillary action coolant is or lubricant is sucked in between them so that there will be a forming a layer a fluid between the tool and the chip creates a low shear strength film that is this is a uh, low shear strength film so that chip and tool will be apart and there will be a reducing a friction between them also as it forming a layer between them it will it will take away some temperature or heat generated in between them increasing the tool life okay that is the basic theory so how the cutting fluid is applied in action in the industry you may be knowing one is the mostly used fluid or chill fluid if you are going for the cryogenic machining they will apply this one if you are going for the dry the mist or spray is applied this is very good because in already the molecules of that coolant is in a uh, small size and they will be spreading all over the uh, cutting zone so and reducing the friction between the tool and chip and tool and workpiece the second one is the jet jet is applied only for the assisting the chip breakage and also it will have the all the properties of the fluid coolant also okay okay that's it guys from this topic and thank you all for watching my video if you like and if you found this video useful please do share this video with your friends